Hi guys, it's Ben here and welcome to the Newcastle versus Liverpool preview. I'm going to keep this one quite short because today is our second Soccer Saturday day trip. If you've seen the first one, you'll know what it's all about. We go to a town for a night out determined by whoever scores first in Soccer Saturday and today it's whoever scores twice first. So I'll link to the first one if you've not seen that and keep your eyes peeled for the second one. But let's get into the preview. Newcastle versus Liverpool are returned to St James's Park. Now my last time we were there, of course, Genie Vinaldum scored as we lost 2-0 and that really but then in our, at the time, title challenge, because we were confident that back, I think it was just after a 6-1 win at Southampton in the League Cup, had loads of momentum, and then that one, that one really flattened us. This time, uh, we are off the back of another draw, uh, Spartak Moscow, so obviously one win in six for Liverpool in September. We need to rectify that. Newcastle won't be an easy place to go. They've had a decent start to the season under Rafael Benitez, but they did lose at Brighton last time out. So both teams have got their flaws. Both teams will be not full of confidence, but we're doing okay. Uh, we've got Sadio Mane back after his ban for that red card against Man City, so that is obviously key for us. Rafa Benitez against his old club, it's going to be great, you know, lining up against him again. You know, there's not, there's not many managers Liverpool fans have got more love for than him, they're still in the game, so that's going to be great. Uh, and it's just going to be a great occasion, I'm, I'm going to be there tomorrow unless I end up, you know, unless something drastic happens tonight on Soccer Saturday, but I'm going to be there as near as part, looking forward to it, my first visit to that stadium. Let's get into predicted lineups. Thankfully, Mignolet is obviously going to come back in for this one, I've, like I said, I'm fed up with Carrier State, when I talk about him, Mignolet to start. Um, Right back is where there is a bit of a headache uh, selection-wise for Klopp. I think he's going to go with Joe Gomez here. I mean, Trent played 90 minutes in midweek. He likes to rotate his fullback. I think Gomez will get the nod here. Matip and Lovren, of course, to start at centre-back. And Moreno will play at left-back, I imagine. Henderson's been playing well lately, so he's going to keep his place as number six. And Chan was very poor in midweek, and he was poor in the last league game too, as far as I'm concerned. So by now, I'm in Coutinho in midfield for me. And then Mane, Firmino and Salah as your front three. There you go. I think, I think that's... Uh, that's the side we're going to be looking at, uh, and it should have more than enough. Well, it should have more than enough <laughs> on paper, but we say that every single week. I'm still not particularly confident um, for us to get back-to-back -back away wins. It seems to be a rarity these days. We've got the huge win at Leicester, which really restarted our season as far as you know keeping pace with the top sides goes. Spurs are currently winning two 0 so they're doing their bit right now. Liverpool need to follow suit. We need to be at least level with them if we're going to be in the mix for the top four. I don't think we're going to be in the mix for the title. And I think I'm sure you guys agree with the way we didn't sign a centre back in the summer and the way we've started the season. A bit shaky, uh, not putting teams away, even the forwards not scoring the goals they should be. I'm actually going to pick a draw here. I'm going to be fairly negative. I'm obviously hoping I'm wrong. I'm going to go for a 2-2 draw at Newcastle. I'd be very frustrated if that does happen. Obviously, I think we've got the capability, capability to win the game, whether we can or not, whether we do or not. Remains to be seen. The odds they've got Newcastle. Some bookies have got them about 4-1, to one, which is decent value. The draw at 3-1. to one. The Reds are about 8-11, to 11, so... You know, there's no real value in backing us to win. The value may be a back in Newcastle or a draw. Um, you know, if, if you back Newcastle or draw about evens, I think that's probably pretty decent value given the, the way we're failing to win back to back games at the moment, especially away from home. So that's my predicted 11, that's my predicted score. I'm going to pick Mane to score on his return and. You know what, let's go for Vijnaldum to get his first lift away goal. Uh, I've just drafted him into my draft fantasy team this week, so let's pick him to score. Um, Firmino's not in good form, is he? He will start. Um, you know, I think he'll start most games. He's clearly Klopp's first choice, number nine. It gives you so much more than just goals, but he's in bad form at the moment. It's not quite happening for him. I just don't think Sturridge is quite ready to take his place as number nine and slang. He's obviously miles off. Um, maybe we need a new number nine in, in January or, or in the summer. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. Let me know your score predictions. Let me know your predicted lineup. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And of course, please do keep your eyes peeled for Soccer Saturday. It's going to be amazing. I'll link to the first one. Uh, I'm sure you've all, you know, most of you will have seen it and enjoyed it. I imagine it's probably my most popular video yet. Uh, and make sure you follow my other socials too. It's Ben Might Say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. And I'll see you next time.